found it in William's wardrobe. Last month it was £5,000 in his kit bag. So what was his excuse this time? He hasn't said a word. And he knows I've taken it. But it's like he's pretending it hasn't happened. His name's William Joseph Mortimer. Age 36. He's married to the client, Sally Mortimer. He earns 40 grand a year, most of which goes on the mortgage. And he stashes 10 grand in his sock drawer. Why? I mean, where's it coming from? And why ain't he missing it? Right, he works two to three days away a week. This week he's supposed to be working in Scotland. But the fact of the matter is, he's booked him three days out for an holiday. I told the client that yet? Hold on a minute, let's don't get too previous. Let's find out what he's doing first. Industrial espionage? Well, let's find that out. Industrial espionage. <laughs> Sorry, just like saying it. There's a woman involved. Been treating himself to posh new clothes. Yeah. So you don't think it's industrial espionage? Sorry, boss. It's a picture of modern domestic bliss, eh? Hunter a gatherer goes off to forage, while homemaker curses under her breath. Is that what it's like in your house? No, oh, no, no. Miss Wilde would never come to the door. <laughs> She'd call from the comfort of her armchair. Sometimes it sounds like you don't like her. I love her. Up. The airport. What do you think? We can still be going to Scotland, don't we? Glasgow, Edinburgh. I don't know, Inverness. Yeah, what if he's not? Wouldn't they need his car for his work stuff? His sample, his clipboard. Oh, keep on it. You got your passport? Then without it, mate. Me and Simon Templer. Madrid. Madrid? Yes, Madrid, in Spain. No. Look, I didn't tell you this morning, look, because I only just found out myself. Because I'm the only one carrying a passport. Because it makes me feel important. Look, look, it'll only be for a couple of nights. I'll bring you back something nice, yeah? Something Spanish. Like an omelette. Oh, Vincent, there's something coming through from John. Me old hombre, John. Right, I picked him up. He's with a woman. He calls her Julia. They're sharing a room. They're very, very friendly. She calls all the shots. Boss. Should we be, uh, should we be sitting together? Go and sit over there if you like. Well, I'm just saying, look, look the target and his bird are 35,000 feet over Birmingham at the moment, so I think we can take a chance, yeah? Have you ever had a girlfriend, Robert? Non-inflatable? Preferably, yeah. You're offering, Julian? You wish. <laughs> Wait, do you two kids want to go and have a wee-wee before Uncle Johnny's aeroplane there? Yeah, yeah, me. Me too. that make me mother? If you like. Surreal. <laughs> <laughs> Hola. Just landed. Right, he's wearing a pale blue suit. Julie's complimenting him very nicely in a black top and a cappuccino skirt. Oh yeah, and they're back to pretending they don't know each other. He's on his way through to you now. He'll be with you in seconds. John, I'm still waiting here. Is he still on your side? No, he's gone. Well, he must be somewhere between us then. Customs. What's Julia up to? She's just got a bag. Oh, she's here. I'll call you back. You got her? with us.
Bruce. Minding me on business. Sorry, being nosy. What floor? Eleven, please. Hello. Sam, it's me. Where are you? Sally, I've been arrested. They found cocaine in my suitcase. Honest to God, I swear I've got no idea how it got there. You're still there, Sam. Just about. I'm in court tomorrow. Can you be there? Please. You being there might help me with getting bail. If I find out you're involved in drugs, I'm leaving you and I'm taking the boys with me. How much cocaine, I wonder? Because mm. that explains the ten grand. Yeah. You think you're selling it? Well, is he for selling it or is um, laundering the money? Now, if he travels around a bit, he can change a grand here, a grand there. Mm. Isn't that or he's telling the truth? Huh. I'm teetotal. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a back door to this place. No, it's a fire exit. I'll put a bleep with it, so if anyone opens the door, we'll hear it. You are so good. Yeah, well, watch him learn, kid. Watch him learn. You're all night then? Yeah. Unless you're volunteering. You've got no chance. <laughs> I don't mind sitting here, yeah. Um, since I sold the flat, um, it's not like home anymore. Big enough to start looking for a new place. Yeah, I will. Right, well, I'll leave it to it. Don't bump your head. Yeah. I haven't seen Oh, I'll just get those for you now, Nigel. Awesome. Great, thanks. Okay. 
thank you. That's room 448, which is on the fourth floor. Out of the lift, turn right and right again. Thank you. See you later. See you later. Hang on, hang on. It's gone from a cheating husband to what? I mean, are we interested in these women? No, not really. No, it's Julia we're interested in. She's the key. What? You're looking for the way into Julia? No. In the Mortimer, so we know who she is. Julia Kerr, K-E-R-R. At least that's the name on a credit card. That might be the name on a credit card, Beth. That doesn't necessarily mean that's who she is. Yeah, hang on. I've got someone coming. Another woman. Early 30s, smartly dressed. It's like the Stepford Wives. Beth, look, if Julia leaves, follow her. Whatever you do, don't lose her. I could do with someone outside or in the lobby. Oh, I'll sort it. Yeah, I was in the band. You was in the band? I was in the band. What was it called? Uh, it's a David's marching band. Yeah. yeah, we were good. Yeah, I bet she was. Yeah. Right, I want you to wait here and watch that door in case Julia comes. Yeah. Where are you going to be? Well, we'll be in there in the womb. Yeah? Beth? Vincent, um, she's on the move, where are you? Well, we're outside now. Um, listen, we'll pick her up, yeah? She's coming. How long a cab for the airport, mate? About half an hour. Oh, what about the one sitting outside? It's out of service. Oh. oh. Well, how much is it going to be then? About, you know, roughly. To the airport? Yeah. About 30, 35 pound. Would you want one? Yeah. Right. What's the name? Muggins. Charlie 2 on your clear base job, Charlie 2. 
Oh, listen, you haven't got a toilet I can use, have you? No. I'm going to need a car with a big ashtray. Look, come on, mate. You must have a car here I can use. Just pop across the road. Oh, well, thanks very much. You've been a great help. Me and it's just another scar. I caught you, Amanda. That'd be a pity. That would be a shame. <laughs> Get up! I hardly touched you. Get up! It's all right, love. It's all right. What's your name? Amanda. Amanda, you come with me, Amanda. Come on. You're not the police. Who are you? Um, I'm uh, Special Agent Smith. This is Special Agent Johnson, and uh, the lad over there is the office kid. That's John. I'm Vincent. And I'm Robert. Amanda. Mandy. Amanda. How long have you been working for Julia? I don't know a Julia. Julia, you met her in the middle of the hotel. You travelled together to the cab firm. In the taxi. Sorry, boss. Felt left out. Now you're right, we're not the old Bill. But I don't mind calling the old Bill. And tell them what? <laughs> you know, you're right again. Is that what to tell them? I tell you what, you drink your tea and then you can go get rid of that. Look at where. Will it be all right? Who are you? No one special. Do you want a biscuit with that, love? No. Thank you. Look, will you um, stay with me while I collect my gear from my flat? He could do that. I've been working for her for just over a year. Doing what? Courier. Every couple of months I take five kilos of cocaine from A to B. I give the coat to Julia, she checks it and gives it back to me. And I distribute it to five clients. One kilo each, no more. But you're not the only one, are you? Julia's got other girls. How many? I don't know. I'm not allowed to meet. Who runs Julia? Nobody. Julia's head girl. The geezer at a taxi firm, is he one of your clients? Yes. So how'd you piss him off? Did you get greedy? Yeah. I cut my five bags by a fifth to make my very own kilo. Well, he was the only one who noticed. I think because he cooks it. But crack? Yeah. You can make a lot of stones from a kilo. A lot of money. What's Julia got to say about that? Nothing. She took me there and she walked away. She'll hear about what's happened. She'll be wondering who you are. Do you recognise this geezer? That's Billy. Billy. Julia likes to have a boyfriend. For the last couple of months he's been it. They never last. Why not? I don't know. I'll have to ask Julia. So how does Julia find her boyfriends then? I mean, she's got a favourite place, like a bar, club? Well, she met the last two in a hotel.
Sorry, I laid down and I shouldn't have done. Beth, we've all done it. It was Superman here saving the girl Amanda that spooked her. I'm sorry. We should have had someone outside. Oh, but it's still a struggle, Vince. It was early hours, empty roads. We didn't need three cars at least. Look, she's clever. Now we know it. Okay. Besides sitting outside a flat, which she's probably already abandoned. How do we go about finding her again? Uh, your sign says you're looking for drivers. Might be. Got your own car. We've got me off very nice. So we're ten pound a week settled. That's for the rent of the radio set. Anything goes wrong, your responsibility. Yeah, sounds reasonable. Been interested. Take a seat. Do the door there, Mark Dickheads. Sorry. Drivers. I'll dig you out of phone. Thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Hundred and a bit steep, isn't it? Don't bother with it. With what? Taxis. Not my thing. Okay, we're ready for you now. This is Joe. When he used to talk to me. Now all he does is F and bind. Mm. We don't know what else to do. I tried following him myself, but he saw me. Went ballistic, didn't he? Sure, um. So all you really want to know then is um is what you're dealing with, yeah? Yeah. That's right. Spying on your own kid. That's sick. Why is it? Just is. Not if they're worried about him. He's 15. Why don't they just talk to him? Because he's 15. So do you want to be involved in this case then, Rob? Vincent, I'm a professional. Of course I want to be involved. Because you're the one who's going to be following him to school every morning. Oh. <laughs> and what if he doesn't go to school? Stay with him. All right, do I get the van? What for? He's only got a skateboard. <laughs> right, man. All right, got the money? Yeah. See it. Vince, every one of these pictures is a deal. So? It's the gear that Julia brought in, Vince. Her gear out on the streets in more. 36, 48 hours. We could find Julia through the cab office. No, that's a big show. It's too long. Hotels are the best pair. She's got unfinished business, and she likes five stars. Plus, it's how she meets her boyfriends, and, you know, it could be a weird. What is a point, Brent? Honey trap. Well, if it's out of you and me, mate, it must be my mate. <laughs> <laughs> so who's it going to be, me or you? Well, it's got to be me, hasn't it? Well, I disagree. I saw her first. Well, you're married. We might have to give her one. It'd be work. It wouldn't count. Do you think she'd go for me? Yeah, I'll see why not, mate. I mean, she went for more didn't she? It's not as if she's fussy. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah. I need a pee. I think your lovely is checking in as we speak. Right, cheers. You look smart and yet casual. That's exactly the look I was going for. <laughs> Did you go for him, Beth? No. Well, you could have lied. You look very nice, Vincent. Mm, very clean. 
I think one of them squirty things from your mouth, it's all dry. Nah, you'll be all right for a couple of beers. You're not wearing a wire? It might have to get naked. With steady, might have to wear something else later. <laughs> and how far are you prepared to go? What sort of questions that to ask someone? Well, when you should have asked yourself before you became a great big dollop of honey. Oh, dollop? Oh, I just mean you very sweet. Yeah? I hope she don't laugh at me. You look lovely. Do I? Robust. Jesus Christ, Beth, I'm in a barn doors robust. Yes, sir. Bottle lager, please. Are they cold? They're in the fridge. Well, just because they're in the fridge doesn't mean they're so they're cold, does it? That's no, still warm. Can I have one off the back shelf, please? Not asking too much, am I? Not at all, no. Thank you. Where are you flying to? Yeah, you. Where are you flying to? Um, well, I'm not, unfortunately, except home, um, you know. I came in a car and I'll leave in a car. So where's home? Well, it was London. Uh, now it's Essex. So what are you doing here? Very nosy. Do you mind? No. Nah. So, what are you doing up north? Business. No property? No. Rubber. <laughs> PVC, leather. All kinds of kinky fabrics, you know. I import clothes from Asia, mostly China. And then I try and knock them out. What about you? Where are you flying off to? Nowhere. So what are you doing here then? What, you want business? Business? Hmm. Are you suggesting I might be some kind of um, a call girl? Well, I, I was, but um, I wish I wasn't there. <laughs> Sorry. I'm here for business meetings, nine to five, and uh, fully closed. Well, I'm sorry. Do I look like a call girl? No, you look very nice. And that's all I'm prepared to say. I'm sorry. Accepted. <laughs> so, you drove to an airport hotel? Yeah, I, I like aeroplanes, you know. I could have gone into the city, but um, I like aeroplanes, I like airports. Romantic? No, it's a wreck. Do you fancy a peanut? Oh, thank you. Ruin me appetite. So you haven't eaten yet? Not yet, no. no. Me neither. That's something we share in common. You care to join me? Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, well, we can either stay here or we can... Um, have a stroll round Terminal 2 and have an all-day breakfast. I've already had breakfast. Can't get wine with breakfast. Well, you obviously haven't been to Essex. <laughs> How's it developing? Yeah, very well. It's all very civilised. No coffee and brandies. What are we on? Mm. Oh, yes. The chocolate of travellers. Oh. You won't sleep with her, will you? No. Not unless he has to. What if I did that, hmm? What would that make me? A lesbian? You said you fancy a walk. I thought it would be easy our legs. Did you? What made you think that? Who are you looking at? You. Decided if I want to see you again. Well, you better make your mind up. I'm only here for a week. Have you got a business card? Yeah. Vincent Devine. Yeah, it sounds like a pub soon, doesn't it? <laughs> Come fly with me. Come fly, let's fly away. I've got another question to ask you. Go on. If you were flying instead of driving, where would you take me? Venice. 
Jesus. <laughs> Once I get you up there, where the air is red. Well, I don't know. Um, that's up to her. Did you kiss her? Do you know what, John? Sometimes I really worry about you. Beth wanted to know. No, Beth didn't. Yeah, well, tell Beth I've still got me cherry. What's that the room phone? Look, I'll call you back. Hello. Hi. I'm looking at your website. Nice smile. Yeah, well, warmth and sincerity is hardly my uh, strong point. So I practice. Although I really am missing you already. I had a good time. You sound surprised. Well, I only popped out with a cold beer. Ended up with a hot flush. Huh. Shall I come down and see you? To talk, that's all. Yeah, I'd really like that. I'm in room 702. I Corner does Cute, isn't it? Bit cold for all that, isn't it? Put rose in the sheets. Be good for you. <laughs> you sound just like my mum. No, sound just like my mum. Have a sip of that. No. 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You got milk in your stomach? Come in. You're not happy, Beth. I can sense it. What he's doing isn't right. What we're doing isn't right. Yeah, and what she's doing is worst of all, so I shouldn't worry about it. Look, who's the only person that knows all about William Mortimer, eh? Apart from William Mortimer. Julia. Which is why Vincent's getting close to her. I need some air. Oh, you've just had some. Beth, he's free and single. Where's the problem? Oh, dear. Latte's give me a takeaway. Please. You came into the cafe. She didn't see me. She had her back to me. Unprofessional. Robert, shut up! No, don't blame him. He's right. You know, at the minute we're all being bloody unprofessional. Meaning me? Yeah, especially you. Yeah, well, I'm just doing a job. That's what I'm doing. Vincent, I'm doing a I job. think you might like it too much to be doing a proper job. Sound like you're jealous, Beth. Grow up! Been there, done that, had the acne. Shut up, then. Gillian, get on the phone and get John back to the office now. We'll have no one watching Julian. Well, I don't care! Because from now on, this is my job and my job alone. 
Is that why? So don't tell me how to run my business. Right? That's what I want. Why are we crumping what's left of your style? Get on the phone to John now and tell him to get back here. Robert, liven yourself up. What's happening with this kid, this uh, Evans boy? Joel, him and his mates met up with a dealer again. That's two nights out of the last four. It's another dare, boss. Dare you to smoke crack. Yeah, well, be careful, because your dealer is two steps removed from Julia, and that's Vincent's back. Beth, if you've got nothing constructive to say, you might as well go home now. Right, Vincent, I will say this one last time, and then I'll be quiet, I promise you. I do not agree with what you're doing, and I am worried about your judgement. Yeah? Well, I'd be worried if you wasn't worried about my judgement. Well, my judgement's fine. End off! Finished! Uh, John switched off, I'll try him again. Yeah, but it would be, wouldn't it? What? It's me. Hold on a minute. Hello? Where are you? I'm in a meeting. Is it going well? Not really, no. Where are you? Somewhere between a rock and a hard place. Ask me why. Why? I've been checking up on you, Vincent. You don't exist. Would you care to comment? Well, I haven't been very well. Listen, I'll explain it all to you when I see you. Are you expecting me to meet you? Yeah. I really like that very much. Where? Anywhere you like. Your beer, it's cold. Thank you. Where is everyone? They've gone home. I know the owner. So, you're not into rubber after all. Afraid not. Pity. What are you into? You. That's a good start. I'm a private investigator. Uh. I'm working for Sally Mortimer, Billy's wife. At least I was until uh, five seconds ago, or made that a week ago. Who is Billy? I'm not interested in Billy, I'm interested in you. Now, I want to keep seeing you, and I think you want to keep seeing me. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. You can talk if you want to. I mean, I'm not wired. There's no one listening. It's just you and me. You're right. I enjoy your company. I know you. I'd like to carry on seeing you, if that's possible. I'm not a mug like Billy. I mean, I don't want to be a part of it. Part of what? I know what you do, Julia. And you disapprove? Yes. You still want to go and see me? Yes. Give it up. Not yet. Soon. <laughs> I can make up seeing him out some money. I don't hear you complaining. I'm not. I'm not apologising either. 
I don't want to work for a living, I've tried it. People will always take drugs. They don't like the pain. Right, lads. Right, Doing some more. What have you got? So, you're not Vincent Divine? No. I'm Vincent Gallagher. Pleased to meet you. Julia Violet Lorimer. Violet. It's nice. Yeah. After my man. Julia Violet. I want you to stop it. Do something else. You can do anything you want. And what about... What about the obscene money? Well, I've got money. I've got a jar full of 50 pence pieces. I must have a fortune. Give it up. So at least try and give it up. Julia! Any cereal? I was gonna make you some breakfast. I don't need breakfast. Where are you going? Going out. Out where? Out. Yeah, where? My business. Where are you going? What do you want me to say? Well, I don't know. Um, is it a deal, this business? Look, um, you're giving me a blanket, Julia, just say so. You know, 
do it properly, kick me out. I'll go and sit in the car and I'll start watching you and following you again. What do you want from me? I want the woman I was with last night, not you. I want to keep seeing you. So give it up. It's not as simple as that. All right. So what do we do? Hey, what do we do? All right. Come away with me. I've got to get someone's agreement before I can stop. Who? It's an American, that's all I'm telling you. What's we going to America? I think it was as big as this. I've got to make a phone call. I'll be with you in a minute. He ain't gonna show up, is he? Yeah. No. Do you think he's all right? I mean, should he be in a job without backup? No. Would you let any of us do it? No. Then why don't we find him and follow him? No. Why not? Because he's got eyes like a shit house rat. He wears glasses. Only for reading. All done, that's it. Honestly? Yeah. No problems. Other than being unemployed now. What did you say? It's um, it's done. That's fantastic. You're fantastic. How'd you feel? I feel like celebrating. I do feel lovely. Great! Great, aren't they? I love it here. I love it. Thank you very much. 
appreciate it. Uh, nice okay, to be back with Victor's again, huh? Okay. Uh, we'd like to do one now. It's uh, one of our favorites. Hope it's one of yours. The man I love. a good luck note from the guy at the club. What the man with our name? It's Tommy. I think you just made that up. I'm not going to argue. Did it work? Did you find anything? I'm sorry. What were you looking for? I didn't look inside, I promise you. I promise. I heard you in the bathroom on the phone and I saw you talking to that geezer in the club and... I saw how much you loved it all. No. You saw how happy I was tonight. I came here to be with you. And I've given up like you've asked me to. I've done nothing wrong. That phone call was to the club to make sure we got in.
I can't show his mother that. I would kill her. Yeah. yeah. I'm not for anything. Julia, just gonna go and get some papers.
I'm left. What? Newspapers. No. Just have to spend the rest of the day uninformed. <laughs> You're going to be much longer? Yeah, I'll leave you down. I missed you. Sir, would you mind if I had a quick look through your bags? Yeah, all right. Shouldn't give you more than a minute. Excuse me, madam. Would you mind bringing your bag to the table? Yes. Pack your bags yourself, sir. Yeah. Pack a bag yourself, yeah. I've been with you at all times since you arrived. Yeah. Mm. You've been in my own business, a pleasure. Pleasure. Oh. Had a good flight? Yeah. What's this here? That's a device. Tells me if anyone's opened my bag. <laughs> Me? Yeah. Well, thank you, sir. That's fine. Thank you. You look less robust. I'm broken hearted, actually. Again? Yeah, again. What you said about my judgment, you were right. It's dodgy. So next time, do me a favor, shout louder. on time, yeah?
Beth. Yeah. In my own time. Thanks. Thank you.